And uh, here we have part two of the uh, Shikigami no Shiri run through. Still on my first credit, three full lives as you can see, two bombs. It's pretty tricky later on, yeah. Mainly I'm trying to save the bombs for the final boss, so actually I end up taking some damage because really you want to kill the boss as quickly as possible. The more bombs you got, the easier it is. It's quite an intense little shooter. Obviously the second one is uh, obviously more flamboyant, a bit more grandiose in its approach. A lot of fun to be had in this one, though. And as we said earlier on, it encourages you to get as close to the danger as possible. Get as close to that razor's edge. You ever seen a snail crawl along the edge of a straight razor and survive? That's what this game is like sometimes. Reminds me of my days in Nam. Cheltenham, that is. Nice little suburban town. Good place to grow up. Yeah, I'm taking damage. I want to save those bombs. I still got the one, one fit of health left, though. That's all I needed for the boss. Fortunately, it came back to haunt me later on in level 5. Really, you want to go into level 5 packing more than just one shred of life. So, John, how long have you had laryngitis for? It's a, it's a smoker's thing. It's all those cigars I smoke like the boss. <laughs> this those, eye John, patch, those John Cubans. Damn right. And this eye patch is not just for show. <laughs> yeah. Samurai warrior dude here. Yeah. But he gets pretty difficult if you don't take him down quickly, which is why I uh, took some damage earlier on and saved my bombs for him. Three bombs on the off takes him down about a quarter, quarter bar of life. So you're going to try tackling on the upper round? She is. Actually, I'm really tempted by uh, Gradius Rebirth on the Wii. That looks. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit of time in there. I mean. A lot, a lot of people have basically been, well, slagging it off and just basically saying that it's a really bland shooter. But I don't think that's the case at all. I love the art style of it because they've, they've got this, they've got obviously this. It's not quite eight bit, not quite sixteen bit. No, like the space backgrounds have yeah. no colour in them. And um, Contra as well is very much like that. And um, you know, I, I don't think it's amazing. But I think, I think we gave it. Oh, this is where I died. Just high now. Stuff. Oh, your first step. Yeah. Yeah, I think we gave Re Rebirth a good, a high like seven, seventy something. And yeah, I, I think it's a really solid. You see that there? Really, you know, really tight maneuvering between the bullets. It gets. This is a very intense level. Yeah, you certainly, you certainly got a path to go through that. And now I'm out of bombs, which means if I need sudden invulnerability, I can't yeah, have you're, it. Yeah, you're stuck for it, aren't you? I'm down to the last. Actually, this is this is it. This is the end, man. Look at that, that's insane. Yet yeah, also brilliant. Well, you see, I, I, uh, once you score enough, I think uh, after I scored 200 million, I got, a, got an extra bar of life back, which I'd lost a moment ago. So you definitely recommend people pick this up then? Uh, I'd actually recommend picking up the sequel. From what I've heard, the localization of Castle Shikigami 2 Oh, um, although the voice acting is bad, they did a literal translation of the uh, the dialogue, and the cover art is quite good. But ironically, Shikigami no Shiro means the White Castle, and the localization calls it Castle Shikigami. So they're basically kind of saying Castle Castle. If you look at it like that. <laughs> oh, and there, that's it. So close to the final boss as well. Oh, I don't well. Still, two hundred and three million. I'm quite happy with that. That's obviously a playthrough of Castle No Shikigami and um, by John Shapaniak.
And um, thanks very much for that, John. And um, yeah, what I'm expecting now is after this goes up, is for you to put a playthrough of Shikigami no Shiro 2 on the Dreamcast. Oh, well, that means I've got to start playing it. I, I don't know. John spent a week practicing um, before he got his. Um, he got this score. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I got the dedication to do that, but I'm never once back away from a challenge. So um, yeah, I guess I'll start practicing. Expect a video in about six months. <laughs> <laughs>